Hi everybody, this is Uwe Bräunig. Um, I'm working at BIM Hamburg and today I'm here with Bonedo and we want to talk about hip-hop. What I love about hip-hop drumming is that the hip -hop uh, the history of hip-hop drumming is not too long and uh, it went through a lot of changes. It started in the middle of the 90s, I think. And um, yeah, it gets inspired by producers, human and machine inspire each other all the time and that makes it very interesting and very very dynamic and um, there is no real way to teach you how to play hip-hop the only thing that i can recommend is be creative uh, but i can show you how i do it and my ideas so let's go um hip-hop music is based on sampling so uh, back in the day when it all started the dj took uh, a break f a drum break out of a funk song or a soul song and looped it and somebody was rapping over it. Or when uh, sampling was invented, you took the drum break, put it into the machine, cut it into pieces and made a new beat out of it. So when the beat came out of the machine, it didn't have that human feel anymore. Uh, the velocity was always the same, almost no dynamics. Uh, but that's like a trademark of uh, a hip hop beat, that it has a certain edginess and a certain crazy way how the phrasing works and um, the best way is really to copy that so I give you an example uh, for example uh, some 90s hip-hop classic listen to this to have it more authentic I really would recommend to just give the Hyatt more drive and more edginess uh, for example like this Uh, I hope you could hear it. Um, yeah. Keep the hi-hat straight. Look for the best spot on the, or the, the spot you want to hit on the snare and always try to hit it on, uh, on the same spot. Um, not too much human feel, not too much dynamics. Um, that can create a, a very good hip-hop flavor. Um, talking of sound. Um, you can see that I have like some um, modifications on my drums. Uh, which is pretty uh, f fancy nowadays, every, every drummer is doing it. So, um, this has a certain reason. Um, when uh, people were sampling uh, drums, the producer put some effects on the snare, or like a clap, or a beat crusher, or a reverb. And um, as I said, like human and machine inspire each other all the time, so I tried to copy that uh, that sound that came out of the machine. So this is why I use, for example, a tambourine or a snare. Or what I love doing is like play this mixture between a uh, acrostic and the rim shot, what I call the cross shot. Okay, listen to this. Or you can play it on two snare drums. I use like a big snare drum, sorry, and uh, a high pitched snare drum. And the combination, when you play both snare drums uh, with a little flam, it sounds like this. And there are a million other ways to modificate your drums, the sound. You can like use uh, extra uh, uh, drum heads. Yeah, you can hear the difference. This is like, sounds a little bit like a 808 sample. This is super old school. Um, just be creative. Another very important thing is um, that when we are talking about that you don't want to have too much of a human feel in your hip-hop drum beat, uh, the consistency. Um, I re really recommend to work on that. Play a beat, 
in a certain f in a certain phrasing with a certain phrasing and don't change it for a long time keep the tempo keep the phrasing keep the sound consistency uh, i try to demonstrate that one two three four And um, yeah, the last point, keep it simple. Um, imagine that somebody puts a lot of words on your drum beat. Um, you don't want to hear a drum solo while somebody's rapping. So keep it simple. Just take care that you have a good energy, a good drive, a good phrasing. And um, yeah, work together with an MC and take some breaks and uh, have fun with hip hop drumming. Bye-bye.